Trump praised Hitler, Putin and Kim Jong-un, former chief of staff claims. According to his former chief of staff, Donald Trump said that Adolf Hitler did some good things and that he frequently complimented Vladimir Putin while in the White House. According to a new book, Mr. Trump, who is presently running for president and hopes to win a second term, also frequently expressed admiration for Kim Jong-un of North Korea. General John Kelly, a retired Marine who became the Trump administration's longest-serving chief of staff, makes allegations about Mr. Trump's views in a forthcoming book. Mr. Kelly tells Jim Shuto that the then-president thought Putin was an OK guy and Kim was an OK guy before recalling a specific conversation they allegedly had about Hitler. He says, Trump said, well, but Hitler did some good things. I said, well, what? And he said, well, Hitler rebuilt the economy. But what did he do with that rebuilt economy? He turned it against his own people and against the world. And I said, sir, you can never say anything good about the guy. Nothing a dot. Mr. Trump is yet to respond to the claims. During his presidency, the former leader met and spoke with both Mr. Putin and Mr. Kim on numerous occasions. He publicly hailed the Russian leader as very a very strong and took his side in a row over the FBI, a move which angered senior politicians in the US. America will go to the polls for a presidential election this November and last week, Mr. Trump as good as secured his place as the Republican candidate when he won Super Tuesday, the day when the most US states choose who they think it should be. Mr. Trump's victory led to his only remaining rival, Nikki Haley, ending her campaign. As a result, it appears that a rematch between Mr. Trump and Joe Biden is imminent, even though neither candidate has yet secured the necessary number of party delegates for a majority. Voting in primaries and caucuses around the United States, delegates cast their ballots. Tuesday's polls in Georgia, Mississippi, Washington, and Hawaii mark the earliest time that any candidate might win a majority.